today I'm working on some tags to go with the paper line um, called Golden Coast by Prima. This is from my uh, design team materials that were sent to me this month. Um, this can be purchased at countrycraftcreations.com and a lot of the things I'm going to be showing you today can also be found on the online store. Um, so I've made a project or two already with this paper line and this is the A4 package. On the 12 by 12 I have a couple sheets of that and that has some gold foiling. So you might see that I have a little bit of gold foiling on my paper and that's why. So here is the tag that I made earlier that I'll be uh, mimicking as I walk through the process with you. If you take a look, this is a chipboard tag and it is three and a half by six and a fourth. And to use um, for the base of the tag, I use the Prima tags. Um, these are also from Country Craft Creations. It comes with 12 and it's really nice when I do my tags, I like to use chipboard because they're a lot more durable. And you'll just notice that there's some dimension. I lifted the, um, I have like a tag on top of a tag. And so there's some depth here. There's different kinds of materials and media or mediums. So there's fibers, there's flatback pearls, uh, crystal, excuse me. Here's a flatback pearl, some gold colors, some metals, some fabrics, lace. Um, so I like to use a variety of different mediums and so I'm going to walk through the process on making a tag. It'll be similar to this one but not exactly like it and I always like to cover the back also. And so I'm going to show you some of the materials I use so if you would like to make one you can gather some of your supplies. So obviously you're going to need a chipboard tag. Um, I'm also going to be using a flower from the flowers that match the collection and I'll be using this pink. Along with this flower, I went to my stash to find a couple things to go with it, and I'll be using two leaves. I have two uh, small blue roses that I will be using, and I wanted them real small because they're just going to come off the sides. And then I have real small little pink roses that will also, uh, two on each side of the flower. So there's my florals that I'll be using. Um, I have a teardrop flatback pearl that will be underneath the flower. I have um, three uh, flatback pink crystals and I put those up here on this tag up in the corner. I don't know. We'll see where those go on this one. Even though I'm mimicking the one I made, they always turn out a little bit different. Um, I have a gold tag that says search, so I'll just be cutting that out and I have a little bit of pink glitter paper that I'll be mounting that on. I always love to incorporate glitter and sparkle. Um, I'm going to be using the Worn Lipstick Distress Ink for the paper. Um, I don't know if I showed you this, but I will be using a puffy sticker from the collection and I probably will use this one. I have this punch and I like to cut out the reinforcers for the tag and I have two of those, one for the front and one for the back. I have some fibers, so at the top of my tag um, up here I'm using this from the store, the seam binding in a light beige color and the sheer, uh, it's a light pink with white polka dots and so that'll be at the top that's from the store. These are from my own stash. Um, I have a small uh, line of flatback pearls to go at the bottom of the tag. I have, um, I'm not sure but I think they call this Chinese braid or Ch gimp or something, I don't know, but um, it's in pink. So I have some of that I'll use. I just have a small applique, some dangle trim for the bottom and some eyelash trim. And um, I do have a gold embellishment. If you notice on the other tag, it was a butterfly down here. Um, it's just a half of one, like the side view. And the other one I have is a full one. So I don't know if I'll end up putting it in the same spot or someplace else, just kind of depends. So let's go ahead and get started. This doesn't take real long. Um, I can usually make a tag in about 45 minutes. Um, sometimes less, sometimes more, but uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to prepare our paper. And so like I said, the tags are three and, and a half by six and a fourth. So I cut out the two pieces that I like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue um, the paper that I want on the front and I'll glue the paper onto the back. 
Now, normally I do use art glitter glue or on my tags, a lot of times I use uh, Yoohoo glue, uh, but I'll go ahead and use the art glitter glue for this one. And I just want to make sure that I do a real good job of getting it around the edges. Now I am going to leave this corner empty because I'll be cutting that off because of the top of the tag. And then as I put my glue, I am going to be using a burnishing tool to spread that glue. Sometimes I like to go around the edges here too, just to make sure I get a strong hold. Okay. And let's go ahead and place that. Now we do want to do one side at a time because we need to uh, find the hole and punch it out of our paper. So I just want to make sure that's lined up real good. And the chipboard showing. This is what I use to burnish. It's a Teflon square. Uh, they call it a bone folder, but I refer to it as a burnishing tool. I don't really score anything with this. Make sure you've got the edges. If you have any glue seep out, go ahead and wipe that off. I'm going to take my scissors, turn it upside down, and trim off that excess, resting my scissors up against the chipboard. Okay. So this is going to be the front. So what I'm going to do is take my hole punch turn it upside down and this is a bigger hole than what my hole punch is but that's okay and here we go let's go ahead and adhere our back piece so I'm going to put glue along the top and the sides here the edges it really bothers me, and I don't know why, but I like a real finished tag, so I always put something on the back of the tag. I never leave it just cardboard or just chipboard open to see. It takes an extra five minutes. It's worth it. Let's go ahead and put some around the edges here. Once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and burnish it. Make sure it has a good stick. And get rid of any glue that's seeping out. Let's go ahead and rest our scissors along the top of the tag and clip off those corners. Okay, so front and back. I just love that hot air balloon. I love it, love it, love it. So now we are going to punch out the hole from the back. So bring your paper punch over. It's getting a little thick. So, okay, done with that. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the reinforcers. Again, that gives it a more finished look. Do the other side also. And if you have any fraying around the hole, that covers it up too. Okay. So now I'm going to take my uh, Distress ink and go around the edges. And I, on my tags, I like a, I want to, I'm not just doing it to get rid of that white that you see on the side. I actually like it to be somewhat heavy. And I do the back also.
like I said, I like a heavier inking on my tags. All right, so there's the back and our front. So I do want to place um, a smaller piece to give it some dimension. And so I picked out another hot air balloon to match and that's just gonna go off to the side like so. I don't wanna totally cover this up so I'm not gonna do it in the center like I did on the other one. So this one will be offset a little bit. So I am going to ink this. This can be any size you want. Now I do want it to be lifted off the page so you can use foam dots foam tape, but I just use chipboard and I'm going to mount it on two pieces and that will make it sturdy and it'll give it some height. So I just put the glue on the chipboard. And stick it on the back of my paper. And then I'm going to do a second layer. Put that on top of the other one. Give that a second to dry. Now because I'll be building on my tag, I do like to place the pearls down um, before I start my layering just so I don't have to fight any of the three-dimensional elements. So I'm going to go ahead and put a line of art glitter glue at the bottom. And then I'm just going to place Okay, and I need to trim it's a little bit long. That hangs off, that bothers me. Let me move that over and take off that last pearl. Add a little bit of glue down there. Okay, oopsie. And if I let that sit for a second, it'll dry on there without coming off. All right. So let's decide. I think I wanted this about right here so that you can still see the other balloon. So I'm just going to put glue on part of the back. The other part will be hanging off the edge. Now if that bothers you that you'll see this, which it kind of does me. Do I have any scratch paper? Just because it bothers me a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put some decorative paper just because I don't want to see that chipboard from the back. I don't even really have this straight. I just kind of quickly cut it. Okay, that makes me feel better. So now let me go ahead and add more glue. Place that about right there. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at the other tag and see where we're at. Like I said, this one's offset. I have my row of pearls. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to flip the tag over and that's. Uh, going to adhere the dangle trim because if I embellish it too much when I go to put it on the put on the trim it's going to be hard to lay flat so um, the dangle trim I adhere this strip to the back and I got to make sure that I have it facing the right direction I want to see the right side on the front 
So let me cut this off so it's the right size. And let's see how that looks. Okay, again, I'm going to put a line of glue on the bottom, and I'm going to place that right at the edge. Like so. So that adds a little bit of interest on the back there at the bottom. But you see it hanging from the front too. Love it, love it. Okay. So I do have an applique on the corner um, of my extra tag, but I'm thinking I might put that one over here on this one. Not 100% sure yet. Um, I did put some trim on my card to kind of break things up a little bit. Maybe I'll go this way on this one. Oh, I'll still go that way. So this does unravel easy. So I'll probably be putting some wet glue at the ends to help it not fray. So all I do is take my art glitter glue and I just dab it on the ends. And then I give it a second to dry same on the other end it'll be covered with other stuff anyway but then i'll just put a line of glue where i want it on my card and lay that on there straight like so Again, give that a chance to dry. So where are we in the process? Deciding, um, let's go ahead and get our tag ready. So I'm going to trim the excess paper off. You can make a tag easy enough, or you might use one of the cutouts from the collection and turn it into a tag. I just thought it was perfect that this says search and it's a hot air balloon. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on top of my glitter paper. Give it a chance to dry before I start cutting it. I think I'm going to go ahead and plug in my glue gun. When I adhere my flowers, I like to use a glue gun. So let me plug that in. Okay, let's trim around. You can use a paper cutter if you want to. This doesn't have to be perfect to me, so I can just eyeball it and use scissors. But just having that little bit of sparkle adds a ton. Ooh, I love that. See, I don't know if you can tell, but it just adds so much. Even though it's just a little bit, just a smidge. All right. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do it like the other tag and have this here. Or do I want to build the design over here? Hmm. So what else do I have to put down there? The butterfly. So let me get my butterfly and I eyeball it and lay it out and look at it before I make any final decisions. Okay. 
So maybe like so. Yeah, I think I'll do it off to the side instead of on here. But then I gotta come up with something to put over here because I gotta maybe. Let's see. And then that puppy sticker. Maybe I'll just... Is that upside down? I have a hard time seeing which way is the right way and which one's the wrong way. Uh, then I still feel like... Okay, I feel like if this is here, this should be like that. Does that look all right to you? I think it looks okay to me. So let's go ahead and glue down the applique. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because a little bit's going to be hanging off the side. And I am using the art glitter glue for the material, the applique also. That should be enough glue, I think. Now I have, this is a charm, I think, and so there is a little bit, a little hook or a little circle there, and I'm going to try and cut that off. Got it. Well, at least I bent it back. Let, Okay. All right, so let me better put down the tag first. Hold that down just for a second and I do have it lifted I mean it's up on the raised part of this and that's totally fine it doesn't have to be all the way down flat and then this I'll also use art glitter glue and just glue it like so okay and this will glue uh, the glue dries clear which is nice hold that for a second and let me be thinking about what we're gonna do next um, the flower arrangement I'm on the other one I did it up here um, on this one I might have to adjust a little bit maybe do it off center don't know yet I'm gonna get a clothes pin dry okay all right so now I'm going to start messing with this flower and this is kind of a big flower it's bigger than I thought so if I put that there and have the leaves coming down the side Is that too big? That is the question. I wish this was live. I would ask you, is that too big? I'm going to be adding a flower off to the side. 
and then I have the little pink ones. Is that going to work? Ah, let's go with it. Let's not overthink it. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to place my leaves first, and I am going to use a glue gun for that if this is hot. Nope, not yet. I have to give it a second to heat up. So what I'll do while I'm waiting is the gems, the flat back per uh, I keep saying pearls, uh, crystals. I'm putting those. Now on the other one, I just took them straight up and down. On this one, I might go at an angle, like so. So do I want them at an angle or do I want them up and down? Um, I think I want them up and down. So let me go ahead and adhere those. So all I do is put just a dab of glue on the actual tag and drop the flat back crystal where I want it and with these Okay. Next. Put a dab of glue. Drop this down, line it up where I want it, and one more. Make sure they're equally spaced. Okay. All right, let's check that glue gun. So I want one coming off the side here. And I want one on the other side. And I need my handy dandy spatula so I don't burn my hands. So let me see if I can make this a little bit smaller. If I took off that bottom row, maybe I'm going to do that. Let me take off this bottom row of flowers because it's a little bit too big for me. Let's go with that, maybe. Sure. Press it down. Now I'm going to stick the blue. But uh, I don't know if I like the blue. Let me see if it's just a... I think I just want the pink little ones. And let me wrap these to the... I take the wire and I just kind of wrap them around so that they stay together. Okay, and I'm going to tuck that up inside there. All right. 
right, so that's where we're at so far. Oh, I forgot to add my uh, eyelash trim. Let's see, do I want that somewhere? I'm going to tuck some behind that flower, I think. So let me get a piece cut off. And what happens if I just tuck that like so? That works for me. I'll just put some glue down here that'll catch it. And I'm wondering if I need a little bit on the other side down here. Let's see. Should I tuck some? Maybe just a little, but then there's no pink in that one. Let me find some with pink. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Tuck that down in there. All right. So that's what we have so far. Now I do have a pearl. And on the other tag, I put the pearl underneath the flower and on this one I don't know if I'm going to need that or not. Maybe I need it down here. Uh oh, I'm going to have to use a hot glue gun on this. Do I want the pearl down below? Hmm. Do I want it there? I don't think I do. Do I want the blue flowers down here? Let's try that. And the other one. Too much, maybe? Yeah, I don't think I like those blue flowers. Okay, let's add our sticker. And then I think we're going to just have to add the top. up the flower. Now I don't even think I want this. I don't want that, I don't think. There's something else. Sunshine, special handling. There's a puffy heart. I can do that. I always add a little extra glue on the back. Just kind of have that off to the side like so. just don't know about this corner right here. I feel like it needs something. But what? Um, flowers. I always think flowers. Let me check the package of flowers. No, too big. Well, let me put the trim through the top and we'll see how that looks. 
So I fold this in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half again this way. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut at an angle. And then I'm going to poke one side through. Maybe. Come on. Now a lot of people say, what do you use these tags for? I use them in place of cards usually. Put them on a gift bag. Something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the seam binding and tie it around there to keep it secure. And it adds another color. So then pull your ribbon taut. Go ahead and double knot that. And angle those like so. And that's what I have. Let's am I happy with that? That is the question. Well, as far as we, as far as right now, that's what I'm going to leave it at. Let me put the other one next to it, so this could be a nice set. So that could even be a gift for someone. Um, like I said, this was Golden Coast by Prima. You can get it from CountryCraftCreations.com, and I appreciate you tagging along with me today. Thanks, everyone.